It is truly a great day in the Ann Arbor Public Schools as we join together to celebrate the opening of a brand new 2016-17 school year. Welcome to each of you. We're so glad you're here. We're fortunate in the Ann Arbor Public Schools to have a deeply engaged staff. For you, the words of our AAPS motto, Lead, Care, Inspire, are not just a slogan. It is who you are, the very DNA of our organization. And not a day goes by that I'm not inspired by the quality work you accomplish in serving our children, their families, our staff, and the Ann Arbor community. I appreciate each of you, and it is a delight to welcome you today. As we come together to launch this 2016-17 school year, we can't help but consider the summer we've experienced across our country. Escalating tensions in race relations, law enforcement concerns, terrorist attacks at home and around the world, and the accelerant of an unfortunate negative rhetoric accompanying our national elections. It's against this national backdrop that we consider how we will support our children as we enter our classrooms this fall. Why, how, and what is the message we are going to communicate to our students, parents, and school community when we begin classes this fall. New York Times columnist Nicholas Kristof recently shared that those who would divide us during this time have unleashed a beast and fed its hunger, and long after this campaign is over, we will be struggling to corral it again. We know as educators that our children grow and learn within our social fabric in our classrooms, our schools, our community. It is this social context that is frayed by talk of marginalization of anyone, and it bears an impact on our children. In a recent article published by the Southern Poverty Law Center, researchers discovered that the national campaign is producing an alarming level of fear and anxiety among children of color and inflaming racial and ethnic tensions in the classroom. Many students worry about being deported. In that same article, a teacher shared the story of a concerned first grader who on every day last spring asked his teacher, did they build the wall yet? Clearly, the unhealthy bent of our national conversations flows through to our children. I know that we will work together over the coming days to open this school year with an even more direct message of embrace and acceptance for all. One of hope and optimism, a message that our classrooms and our schools must remain safe and sacred places. A continuing message of care, care for ourselves, care for each other, and for this place we share together, this classroom, this team, this school, our entire AAPS organization, and our Ann Arbor community. We know that what the adults do and say matters, and we remain committed to our critical mission that all children will grow, thrive, and succeed in our classrooms. That a child's outcomes will not be predetermined by her race, ethnicity, gender, zip code, socioeconomic status, or the position of his parents. In the Ann Arbor Public Schools, we remain determined that all means all. In reflecting on our current reality, both in the district and across the country, I was recently reminded of a Kenyan tradition. It is said that the traditional greeting of the Maasai warriors of Africa was a simple one. 
and how are the children? This is reportedly still the traditional greeting of the Maasai, acknowledging the high value placed on the well-being of children. Even warriors with no children of their own would always give the traditional answer, all the children are well. This meant that peace and safety prevail. The priorities of protecting the young and the powerless are in place that the Maasai people had not forgotten their reason for being, their proper function, and their responsibilities. All the children are well means life is good. It means the daily struggles of existence, even among the most disadvantaged, include the proper care of the young and defenseless. Someone has said, in times of crisis, we don't abandon our core values. We double down on them. In the Ann Arbor Public Schools, we will deepen our determination to keep the focus on meeting the needs of all our students, maintaining the focus on teaching and learning, truly seeing every child on every day so that all our children are well. I know that we will model openness, acceptance, welcome, and embrace for all our students and staff. It's not just what we do in Ann Arbor, it's who we are. And I know that this year we will join together like never before. Our challenge is real, yet our determination is deep. Our principal leaders are prepared to launch our team discussions across the district to explore the ways we will ensure that we lead in positive and productive ways from the very first minutes in our classrooms and across our school communities this fall. I already know that we will rise together to meet this challenge. We will continue to welcome and embrace every child and staff member on every day of the upcoming school year. We are all together in this effort. At Mitchell, Scarlet, and Huron, together we're bringing an international baccalaureate education to the Ann Arbor Public Schools. At Reconed, we bring everyone from toddlers to K-12 to adults together. At Ba, every student matters, every moment counts. Parents, teachers, students, we're A together. At Clague, our three C's are community, communication, consistency. We are all together. Great things happen at Abbott when we are A together. A2 Allen, adventuring together. In Ann Arbor, we do technology for all students to connect with students in our community and globally. We bring students together by having them share the many languages spoken at AAPS. A todos juntos. Lake with todos juntos. Arigato gozaimasu. We're working together to prepare Allen Elementary's temporary home. At Carpenter, we believe in learning A together. And so we consider the fundamental question, how are the children? Let us consider how our children are doing as the first and foremost question we ask the way in which we hold ourselves and each other to high expectations, the fundamental measure of our success as a community, and the value we place on leaving a legacy of hope and opportunity for future generations. Ancient traditions from Kenyan tribesmen, along with all of you here with us today, your Ann Arbor Public Schools team, embody the moral and ethical values to which we, the Ann Arbor community, remain committed. In the Ann Arbor Public Schools, we embrace the question, how are our children? We are courageous in not only repeating this refrain as our mantra, personally and collectively, but in taking the action needed to truly support all our children. As we launch this 2016-17 school year, 
Thank you for the positive and profound difference you will make in the life of every child. We know how fortunate we are to be called to this work. I know that we are all together as never before in the face of our challenges. Standing together as a team. We are all together to resist any force that would marginalize any among our staff or children. Meeting the needs of all our students. We are all together in lifting our children and each other above any negative narrative. A together inspiring. We are all committed to equity and opportunity for every child. A together, we can accomplish anything. Our more than 17,000 children are all our beautiful children, and they are counting on us to get this right. We are a community, learning how to be a community, and together, learning how to support each other. This is our Ann Arbor Public Schools. Our story of welcome, embrace, celebration, achievement, and success for every child. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go at A2 together. Our 2016-17 story will be written together, and it begins today. A together, all kids, all the time. We are all together for children. A together makes A2 strong. We are all together for each other. Together for all students. We are A together. We are A together.